uh, welcome to the Daily English News program in Azerbaijan Television with the most important events of the day. I'm Gilad Hatamavon. President Ilham Aliyev met with President of the Republic of Tajikistan, Imam Ali Rahman. Addressing the meeting, President Ahmad Ali thanked Imam Ali Sharipovich for accepting the invitation and participating in the summit of the SPECA program. It is another good opportunity to meet, talk and discuss the agenda on both bilateral and multilateral cooperation. I would also like to thank you once again for your invitation to attend the consultative meeting of the Heads of State of Central Asia as the only guest of honor. I highly appreciate it. I consider it as a sign of friendship and respect, said the head of our state, and emphasize the successful development of bilateral relations. I'm sure that your current visit will also be important in terms of strengthening our ties. There are multiple plans and projects. The main point is fraternity of our peoples and our shared future, President Hamalif underlined. <laughs> President Emmanuel Rahmon, thank for the invitation to the Speka Jubilee Summit. Our interaction is developing dynamically in both trade and humanitarian fields. We rejoice at the success of our Azerbaijani friends as your country is developing. Many programs are being developed and we are talking about it now. Thank you for your invitation. We are preparing for next year's visit. We are currently working on it and our respective bodies are interacting. I believe that it will give a strong impetus to our bilateral relations. Today, I am ready to discuss with you the current state and prospects of our relations and regional problems, said Emmanuel Rahmon. President Ilham Aliyev met with President of the Kyrgyz Republic, Sadr Japarov. President Ilham Aliyev expressed his gratitude for accepting the invitation to participate in the summit and said, the dynamics of bilateral relations is a clear proof of how close two countries and peoples are. We will always be supportive of each other and we will continue to do so in the international institutions in the future as well. During the meeting, important issues related to the increase of trade and goods, investment policy and further rapprochement between our countries was discussed. A summary of the year's work was made with the participation of our delegations and next steps were identified. President Sadr Japarov thanked for the kind words and stressed the bilateral interstate relations have reached the highest level in recent years. President Sadr Japarov expressed confidence that constructive discussions and exchange of views on current issues of cooperation between the Kyrgyz Republic and the Republic of Azerbaijan will be held. The President of Kyrgyzstan congratulated President Ilham Aliyev and the people of Azerbaijan on the restoration of the sovereignty and territorial integrity of the Republic of Azerbaijan, noting that this had brought about new conditions for peace and stability in the South Caucasus. The President of Kyrgyzstan also conveyed congratulations on the occasion of the 100th anniversary of the national leader of the Azerbaijani people, Heydar Aliyev. President Sadr Japarov gave a high assessment to the establishment of a monument to Chinggis Aitmatov, a prominent son of the Kyrgyz people, in Baku and expressed his gratitude for it. During the meeting, the presidents noted that the two countries always supported each other within international organizations. President Ilham Aliyev expressed his gratitude to the President of Kyrgyzstan for his congratulations on the occasion of the 100th the 100th anniversary of Heydar Aliyev, the great leader of the Azerbaijani people and restoration of Azerbaijan's sovereignty and territorial integrity. During the conversation, the sites described as a positive development the expansion of economic and commercial relations between the two countries and the organization of direct flights. The heads of states stressed the importance of the establishment of the Azerbaijan Kyrgyz Investment Fund, adding that this would create favorable opportunities for the implementation of joint economic projects. The sites also exchanged views on the development of cultural and humanitarian relations between the two countries. President Ilham Aliyev also met with President of the Republic of Kazakhstan, Kasim Jomar Tokayev.
Со мной большая делегация. Да, очень правильно. Члены правительства. Да. Рады всем гостям. Thanking the President of Kazakhstan for visiting Baku, President Elhamaliyev said, Today we are implementing very important energy and transport projects in the Caspian and indeed in the broader region by joining our efforts in a number of fields. As we conclude 25 years of the SPECA program today, perhaps every country can see how far we have passed. It is gratifying to see that the friendly and brotherly relations between Kazakhstan and Azerbaijan are being filled with new content today. The head of our state once again thanked the President of Kazakhstan for his President Kasim Jamar Tokayev thanks for the invitation and congratulated the head of our state and all the fraternal people of Azerbaijan on the restoration of the sovereignty and territorial integrity of the Republic of Azerbaijan and emphasized that these successes had been achieved as a result of the visionary policy of the President of Azerbaijan. President of Kazakhstan said our countries are truly strategic partners and actual neighbors on the Caspian Sea. The adoption of the joint declaration on the strengthening of strategic relations and the deepening of alliance as well as the establishment of the Supreme Interstate Council is also a historic event. President Kasim Jamar Tokayev noted that the construction of a creativity center named after Kurmangazi in the city of Fizoli was a contribution to the ongoing restoration and construction work in Karabakh. President Elhamaliyev thanked the President of Kazakhstan for the congratulation and for the Kurmangazi Creativity Center. President Kasim Jamar Tokayev expressed his gratitude for the celebration of the 100th anniversary of his father, prominent Kazakh writer Kemel Tokayev, and for the publication of his work, Nightfire. The sites noted with satisfaction that Azerbaijan and Kazakhstan always support each other in international organizations and that cooperation between them in the fields of economy, trade and transport was expanding. The heads of state conducted an exchange of views on the transportation of Kazakh oil across the territory of Azerbaijan and the use of Azerbaijan's transport infrastructure, as well as the development of transport and logistical facilities and the Trans-Caspian Transport Corridor. The presidents also stressed the importance of the digital Silk Road project, the issue of extending in cable along the Caspian seabed, and expressed their satisfaction with cooperation between the two countries. The sides also described the establishment of multimodal cooperation involving Kazakhstan, Azerbaijan, Georgia and Turkey on the Middle Corridor and the establishment of a separate company as a positive development in terms of developing transport and logistical opportunities. The two leaders noted the significance of Azerbaijan, Kazakhstan, Uzbekistan trilateral cooperation in the field of energy, the extension of an electric cable under the Caspian Sea and future exports to Europe. President Elhamaliyev stated that along with Bakut Brisi cars, railway Azerbaijan was currently making a contribution to increasing the throughout capacity and transport opportunities of an alternative corridor passing through the southern regions of Azerbaijan across the territory of Iran in the direction to Nakhchivan and the construction of the cars the railway line by Turkey. The president of Azerbaijan noted with pleasure that along with the SPECA member countries, this summit was being joined by Hungary and Georgia, which are friends and partners for regional states. It was mentioned that Hungary and Georgia were also partner countries in terms of transport and logistical capabilities. The head of our state met with President of the Republic of Uzbekistan, Shafkat Mirziyoyev. During the meeting, the sides praised the comprehensive dynamic development of relations between the two countries and stressed the importance of reciprocal visits of the heads of state. The president of Azerbaijan thanked for a secondary school named after Mirzo Lukbek, which was constructed on behalf of the Uzbek people in the city of Fizuli. They noted the significance of the summit dedicated to the 25th anniversary of the SPEC and described Azerbaijan and Central Asia as a single space from the point of view of geopolitics, economy and politics. Concrete projects related to the expansion of economic and trade relations in various spheres, as well as in new areas of cooperation were discussed. During the conversation, the sides pointed out cooperation within international organizations, as well as in cultural and humanitarian fields.
The head of our state then met with Prime Minister of Georgia, Irakli Garibashvili. Prime Minister Rakli Garibashvili thanked President Ilham Aliyev for inviting him to participate in the Speckers Summit as a guest of honor and extended his congratulations on the 25th anniversary of Speka. The Georgian Prime Minister hailed the fact that this summit is held during Azerbaijan's chairmanship of Speka. The head of state recalled his visit to Georgia and the discussions conducted during the trip. During the conversation, they commended the development of friendship and strategic partnership between Azerbaijan and Georgia and shared their views on the development of Trans-Caspian Transport Corridor, in particular transport and logistics cooperation between Azerbaijan, Georgia and Central Asian countries, as well as the rise in Bakut Blisikar's railway capacity. The sites loaded the surge in Azerbaijan-Georgia trade turnover. They exchanged views on the prospects for cooperation and issues of mutual interest. President Ilham Aliyev received Secretary General of the Gulf Collaboration Council, Jassim Mohammed al -Budaibi. The head of state hailed the participation of the Gulf Cooperation Council in the SPECA summit, noting that Azerbaijan enjoys very close partnership with the member states of the organization. President Ilham Aliyev said that he has personal friendship with the heads of state of the member countries of the Gulf Cooperation Council and hailed the successful development of cooperation with these countries in various areas. The head of state pointed out that there are great prospects for further expansion of cooperation in investments, renewable energy, tourism and other fields. President Ilham Aliyev emphasized that political stability is fully ensured in Azerbaijan and Central Asian countries and praised the rapid development of the countries in terms of political, economic and demographic factors. The head of state described the process of integration of Azerbaijan with the Central Asian region as dynamic, Azerbaijan and Central Asian countries as a single geopolitical, economic and political space, and the Caspian Sea as a value that unites us. President Ilham Aliyev highlighted the existence of great prospects for future cooperation among Azerbaijan, Central Asia and Gulf Cooperation Council member countries. The head of state noted that Central Asian nations and Azerbaijan come together not only within SPECA but also the Organization of Turkic States and underlined the need for building institutionalized cooperation between the Organization of Turkic States and Gulf Cooperation Council. The Secretary General extended his congratulations on Azerbaijan hosting the SPECA summit. He pointed out that the Gulf Cooperation Council member countries place a special emphasis on comprehensive development of relations with Azerbaijan and Central Asian nations, underlining development of relations in a variety of fields. Jassim Mohamed al Budaivi noted that there are great prospects in the political and economic areas and for boosting investments. The meeting also saw discussions on global Islamophobia trends and the ways to combat them. The Summit of Heads of State and Government of the Member States of the United Nations Special Program for the Economies of Central Asia, SPECA, was held at the Haider Aliyev Center in Baku. President Ilham Aliyev attended the summit. <laughs> Gürcistan'ın başnaziri, zat-ı halleri Canab Irakli Garibashvili. President Ilham Ali welcomed the heads of state and government participating in the summit. Macaristan'ın başnaziri, zat-ı halleri Canav Viktor Orban. Kırgız Respublikası'nın prezidenti zat-ı halleri Canap Sadır Japarov.
Kazakistan Respublikası'nın prezidenti Zat Ağalleri Canap Kasım Jomart Tokayev. Tacikistan Respublikası'nın prezidenti Zati Halleri Canab İmam Ali Rahman. Özbekistan Respublikası'nın prezidenti Zati Halleri Canab Şafkat Mirziyoyev. They pose together for a group photo. The head of state addressed the summit. Saying that this year marked the 25th anniversary of the United Nations Special Program for the Economists of Central Asia and currently Azerbaijan was chairing SPECA, the other state added that multifaceted relations between our countries have developed successfully in the past 25 years, yet it is the first ever summit of the SPECA member states. Expressing gratitude to the heads of the Central Asian states for supporting Azerbaijan's initiative on holding the summit, President Ilham Aliyev noted that Azerbaijan, Kazakhstan, Kyrgyzstan, Tajikistan, Turkmenistan and Uzbekistan cooperate successfully across a number of multilateral platforms. Upon my invitation, the Prime Ministers of Georgia and Hungary and the Secretary General of the Gulf Cooperation Council attended the summit as the guest of honor. I'm confident that the summit with such a composition will pave the way to a broader format of economic cooperation, stressed the head of state. Underlining that at the time of Speca's inception, the member states were taking their first steps as independent countries, they were facing a multitude of problems and challenges. President Ilham Aliyev noted that in the last 25 years, they overcame the major challenges, strengthened state sovereignty, became valuable members of the international community, and achieved rapid economic development adding that another factor uniting these countries was the political stability and without stability no economic growth can be achieved, the other state added that today wars, conflicts and bloody clashes were raging in various regions across the globe, whereas these countries enjoyed peace, stability and security with successful growth and development processes underway. This is a significant accomplishment and success of our states and peoples. There are quite a few failed independent states worldwide trying to sit on two or more chairs, aiming to serve several patrons and eager to turn their countries into an arena of a standoff between bigger states. One of them is Azerbaijan's neighbor, Armenia. Such countries cannot be viewed as truly independent. The foreign policy of these countries is not based on their people's will and their fate lies in the hands of foreign sponsors. Meanwhile, SPECA member states are truly independent because they pursue independent foreign and domestic policies, said President Ilham Aliyev. Welcoming the recent adoption of the UN General Assembly Resolution on the 25th anniversary of SPECA and noting that the SPECA Trust Fund was established under the auspices of the UN, the head of state added that Azerbaijan will allocate 3.5 million US dollars to the Trust Fund. Stressing that in November 2020, the Azerbaijani people gained the brightest victory of our history. Azerbaijan defeated Armenia in the 44-day Patriotic War and put an end to the occupation. President Ilham Aliyev emphasized that we ourselves enforced the four UN Security Council resolutions of 1993 that had remained on paper for 27 years. Regrettably, even after that, Armenia failed to comply with its obligations. Around 15,000 strong military contingent of Armenia's armed forces were left stationed in Azerbaijan's sovereign territories. Of a military servicemen fell victim to their military provocations. To counter these threats and to eliminate the grey zone, we conducted an anti-terror operation in Karabakh on 19th 20th of September. In just one day, we fully restored sovereignty over our entire territory, including the town of Khojali, where a genocide against our people had been committed in 1992. Azerbaijan eradicated aggressive separatism in its territory. I express my gratitude to all countries who have congratulated Azerbaijan on this historic victory said President Ilham Aliyev. Then other heads of state and government made speeches.
Azerbaijan. An official lunch was hosted on behalf of President of the Republic of Azerbaijan, Ilham Aliyev, in honor of the heads of state and government participating in the summit of the UN Special Program for the Economists of Central Asia, Becca. You can get in touch with us by contacting us at our hotline number 051511-1956, through which you can report events you encounter as well as share your suggestions and remarks. You can also contact us via our WhatsApp and Telegram accounts. That was all for the day. Thank you for being with us. Goodbye.